while it's a violation of Pennsylvania law to have a prohibited blood alcohol content, it's also a defense to that charge if an accused can come forth with some evidence that his or her BAC was under 0.08% at the time of driving. Uh, this is one of the reasons an expert witness is so important in the defense of a DUI charge. Since it takes between 45 minutes and 3 hours for alcohol to be absorbed into an individual system, um, an individual's BAC may continue to rise for some time after he is stopped and arrested. The effect of the affirmative defense is to make the state prove beyond a reasonable doubt that the individual's BAC at the time of driving rather than at the time of testing someone later. The effect of the affirmative defense is to make the state prove beyond a reasonable doubt your BAC at the time of driving rather than at the time of testing sometime later. For example, assume that it's an hour or more after the stop when the blood, breath, or urine uh, test is given. For example, assume that it's an hour or more after the stop when the blood, breath, or urine test is given to the suspect. Assume further that the result is a point uh, 1-2%. Uh, if the suspect has continued to absorb alcohol since he was stopped, his BAC at the time of driving may only have been a 0.07%. Uh, in other words, the test result shows a blood alcohol concentration above the legal limit, but his actual blood alcohol content at the time of driving is below the legal limit. Establishing this defense uh, almost inevitably or invariably uh, will require an expert witness and the cost of a testifying defense expert can run anywhere from $450 to $2,000 per day.